Oh, to yo. I had some problems, predicaments back in the day with this one filmer. Yeah, that same one that be spanking the lens, ruining all the lens, all my tricks and shit. And that wasn't the first or the last time Wiley Coyote was behind the lens. Went out one day, I did this trick, man. It took me like all damn day, right? It was like hard flip, backside something, rather than attack, beanie through the legs. I don't really remember what I did. All I remember was he for footage, he filmed it all above the knee. Homie blew the shot like a lot of inexperienced new filmers, because they think that just because they got a death lens, they gonna start catching shit like Mike Piazza right off the Bet. Wrong. If you ain't gonna use the eyepiece cause you think you look like a dumb dummy. You wanna be Joe Cool. You ain't got Rambo precision yet, homie. Look, chase grab a dab a ding dong. It took him years to get the Rambo-like precision. You don't expect to throw a hook in the ocean and have Shamu hop on it. Nah. That's why you think you throw a fish eye on your lens when you're brand new at filming. You gonna catch everything. So I got something for y'all new and experienced filmers who want to get out in the field. They say necessity is the mother of invention. But I don't know where she lives so I had to make this myself. You know what I mean? Inspired by a laser sight, I was like, yo, why don't we just Slap that on top of the VX, homie. You know what to do. Get out your laser beam, son. Tape it up to the top of your camera. Center it up nice and right, you know what I mean? She was gonna be loud and clear, but on camera, it's gonna be like Tim Allen's next door neighbor. You know what I mean? You can barely see it, you know what I mean? This should help all y'all amateurs out with this experience. And you'll keep the homies hyped that you ain't blowing it and got it right the first time.